Hello. Hi, mister. How are you? Good. How are you, Eduardo? I'm fine, man. Mister, uh, uh, today I start to do the, the homeworks. Okay. But I have, I don't know if problem or, or I'm wrong. In the okay. three point in in the three point seven in the three point seven knowledge check. Okay. I have, I have I have just three good, but from three to down to. to, to. Okay, uh, you know when, when <laughs> I, yes when I'm explaining yeah. the past models, um, yeah. I said um, you shouldn't have done that. No hubieras hecho eso. Now. You can say, yeah. you wouldn't have done that. Usted no habría hecho eso. Yeah, well, yeah. So the, the, you have uh, two different options, but the message is a little bit different. But we're going to be talking about that particular exercise today, uh, Eduardo. Yeah, I put should and wouldn't in, in don't, okay. don't go. Okay, I'll give you a better opinion when we open that exercise uh, oh, okay. today in class. Don't okay. worry. Thanks. Thank you. All right. So welcome back, everybody. It's nine o'clock. What is today's date? Today is November 6th, I think. Yes, it is November 6th. What is the year? 2020. Yes, 2020. That is correct. Did you have your dinner already? Absolutely. Good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs> You know, I do the same, you know, like uh, if, if, if I work, you know, I have to eat. I have to eat. So, yeah. you know, talking about eating, you know, that's going to be uh, today's uh, conversation topic. All right. So let's talk about yesterday. Uh, do you guys remember the topics we discovered yesterday? We, we discussed yesterday. <clears throat> Do you? Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Um, no. no. Continue uh, checking examples of past models. Exactly. Yeah. So remember, a past model structure. <clears throat> What is the structure that we use when we're talking about past models? Somebody. Um, Good evening. Hello. We use past, hello. Uh, we use past model plus half plus uh, the verb in past participle. Okay. Good. Verb in past participle. Thank you, Celia. Okay, so look here. In the chat, I'm writing the structure that we use when we're using past models. So you always, mm -hmm. always use the model, may, my, should, can, would, must, whatever, whatever model you want to use, plus have, and the form of the verb is always past participle. participle. Now, something that you need to keep in mind that you can write any model that you wish, but you have to be yes. conscious that every model has a specific function. So if you change the model, you change the, the message. You change the message. So we'll be talking about that um, uh, today. How do you say, no me hubiera bañado? You, you shouldn't, I shouldn't me hubiera I wouldn't take a shower. Taking a shower. Okay. I shouldn't take a, taking a shower. I shouldn't have taken a shower. I shouldn't have taken a shower. No me hubiera bañado. I now, if you want have. to say, yo no me habría bañado, then you can say, I, I wouldn't I have wouldn't taken have. a shower. So the two I options wouldn't. are good, but the message is different. Because when you said, I shouldn't have taken a shower, that means that you took a shower and now you are regretting the situation i'm now, exactly reading uh, the the problem that i have okay now i'm, I'm doing yeah. knowledge check 
Right. And, so like I said, I mean, you can use different model. Yeah. The sentence will make sense, but the message is going to be different. Yeah, but I put mm -hmm. both in in both a room. Okay, I'm doing wrong. we'll 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 be checking that. We'll be checking. All right. That. Okay, so past models, like I said, you need to use the model, you need to use have, and you need to use the past participle, past participle of, the verb. of the verb. So the structure the is easy to understand, but your mission uh, is to know the past participle of the of the verb. Yes. Yes. Excuse me? How do you say jurar? Swear. 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 What is the past tense of swear? Swear. 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 And the past participle? Swarm. Sworn. Exactly. So how do you say no hubieras jurado? You shouldn't, you shouldn't have sworn. You shouldn't have sworn. No, that's a crime. Because when you go to court, they said, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you. The perjury. But if you... That's a crime. <laughs> Prosecute you for, for, for swearing when it's not true. Swearing. Anyways, mm -hmm. so um, we'll be talking about that. Um, any questions about yesterday? Any comments about yesterday? So let's let's have a small review. Um, what is the function of should? When do you use should? Uh, suggestion, advice. Yeah, when you are suggesting or okay, advising Okay, suggestions, something. recommendations, advice. Advice. Right. Advice. Suggestions, recommendations, or advice. The three are synonyms. Now, how do you? When do you use? Could. Possibilities. Possibilities. Uh, big, big possibility. Big possibilities. What about May? When you possibility two, but in degree, may, minus degree. Okay, it's for okay. possibilities too, but in, uh, you have less possibilities Second. of, of less. doing things. What about might? Uh, less possibility or okay. menus possibility than yeah. the other okay. two. So it's the one with the least possibilities. Okay. Okay. So, Arnoldo, when do we use must? Arnoldo Vasquez, when do you use must? When we are sure about something. Exactly. When we're sure about something, right? Uh, what about wood? When do we use would, Guillermo Hernandez? Hypothetical situations. Right, for hypothetical situations. So as you can see, when you're using the past model structure, you can include any of them. My, may, could, should, would, whatever. But you also have to be conscious that the message that you're sending is different. So let me show you this. Okay, well, before we continue, do you have any questions about these uh, models that I just wrote? No, sir. Peter, how do you say uh, least possibility? You you mentioned about right. might. Okay, could is for possibilities. May yeah. is also for possibilities, but it has less chances than could. Yes. Might is also for possibilities, but that is the one with the least uh, chances of happening. So could okay. is first. Then you have may, may, and last you use uh, might. Might. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. So uh, that is, let me show you this document. Mm -hmm. Not this one, but where is this? Okay, right here. Um, give me a second. 
I hear that internet has not been good lately. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we're experiencing some yeah. connection issues again. Yeah. Yep, maybe we're because up. of the weather. Right. Probably the weather, yes. Right. Okay, so here, with can you see my screen? Yes, yes teacher. Sir. Okay, what, what is the topic? Uh, interchange three unit eleven. Okay, um, so no, you're listen. okay. So okay, listen up. La... Can you hold on? Can you see past models for opinion? No, no, no teacher. Okay, let me see this here. Can you see it now? Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. yes, yes, right now, yes. Okay, so uh, past models for opinions and advice. So once again, we keep using the same standard structure for past models. Uh, you always use the model, you always use have, and you always have to use the past participle of the verb. So giving opinions, you should have called her on the phone. How will you say that one in Spanish? Hubiera, la hubiera llamado. Ah, la hubiera llamado por teléfono. So that is an opinion about something that happened or didn't happen. Look at the other one. She shouldn't have kept your notes this long. How will you say that one in Spanish? No debiste haber guardado... Ella. Notas. Ella. Ella. Ah, perdón. Ok, go ahead. No, eh? Ella no debió haber guardado sus notas de este, este tiempo. Tanto tiempo. Ok, Tanto good. Tiempo. All right. So you're giving opinions, so you use should. Now, the second block is for giving advice. You could have been more understanding. How do you say that one in Spanish? Okay, good. I would have borrowed someone else's notes. How hubiera is... prestado a alguien más estas notas. Uh -huh. Yo hubiera pedido prestadas las notas de alguien más. I would have lent them to her. I wouldn't have lent them to them. How do you say that one in Spanish? I wouldn't have lent them to her. What is the no meaning of lent? Permitido. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. So, yo no hubiera what? No le hubiera prestado a ella. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yo no se los hubiera prestado a ella. Exactly. So, as you can see, you're giving opinion. You're giving advice, or, or you are a hundred percent sure about something. You know the structure is always the same. You always gonna use uh, the model plus have plus the past participle of the verb. Any questions about these examples? No, sir. No. All right. So let me. Uh -huh. Can you give more examples about land and borrow? Because I get sure. confused with those. <laughs> okay, no problem. You know, that's very common with um, with Spanish speakers. Borrow and land. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's analyze the function of each verb in a general way. What is the difference between borrow and land? Anybody? Borrow, you You ask for permission. Okay, you ask. Exactly. You let. Then you give. So borrow means pedir prestado. Lend means dar prestado. Yo presté, yo presté. Dar prestado. So it's the same action. But uh, the person doing the action or the person receiving 
That is the difference. So if I, how do you say, uh, me puede prestar su teléfono? Uh, may borrow. I borrow your phone? Okay, may I may, may borrow? I, may I borrow your phone? phone? Okay, that that is a perfect question. Okay, may I borrow your phone? Who yeah. needs the phone? I do. So no, I need can to you say borrow? Me. Can you borrow your phone, please? No, borrow me your phone. May uh, may uh, may you borrow? Uh, may I borrow? When you mention the person. That needs the favor, yeah. you need to say borrow. When you mention the person that is doing you the favor, you need yeah. to say the, uh, 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 lend. I lend. lend. Okay, oh, okay, so listen, look at the example. Can you lend me your phone? Can you lend me your phone? So what is the difference between those two questions? The uh, message is exactly the same. Yeah. The message is exactly the same. You need the cell phone, you will receive it. The other person will lend it to you. So the difference comes, if you mention the person that needs the favor or the object, you need to say borrow. If you will mention the person that will give you the object or will do you the favor, you need to say lend. I understood. Uh, Thank you so much. Okay. So, how do you say, no, mire, y, y mi hermana puede ocupar su, tra su carro? Mi hermana puede pedir prestado su carro. How will you say that in English? Can my, can my sister, my sister can, puede, can borrow. lend? Borrow. Le, no, can borrow. Bor borrow. borrow. You, ah, yes, can borrow. Yeah. So you're yeah. asking for permission that your, your daughter, your sister, uh, she needs the car. So you said, can my sister borrow your car? Puede ella pedir prestado tu carro, right? Ahora, si usted lo quiere decir, mire, usted le puede prestar el carro a mi hermana, then you're talking to the person, the owner of the car. So you said, can you lend, can you lend my sister, can you lend my daughter your car? So once again, borrow is when you mention the person that needs the favor. Lend is when you mention the person that is giving you the, the object or that is doing you the favor. Yes. Okay. So uh, any questions uh, so far? Mm -hmm. what, what is the past tense of borrow? Borrowed. borrowed with D at the end. Okay, yes, borrowed. borrowed. Yes. Borrowed. borrowed. How do you say, no te hubiera pedido prestado tu computadora? You shouldn't. I have. shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have borrowed, have borrowed your, your computer. computer. Mm -hmm. So, how do you say, no le hubieras prestado el carro a tu hermano. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have, have lent to your lent. brother. Exactly. Lent. You shouldn't have lent your car to your brother. Good. Very good. Yeah. I shouldn't have lent that. Okay. Any questions so far with this explanation? You shouldn't have lent. Okay, let me see this here. Share screen. Second. Okay, advance, give me a second, pre-advanced. So now we go to 3.7. Now 3.7 of the platform, it's an exercise related to what we're discussing right now. 
Okay, here we go. Okay, can you see the knowledge check 3.7? Yeah. Yes, yeah. teacher. Yes. Okay. So look at the first one. It says, I invited my boyfriend over to meet my parents, but he arrived wearing torn jeans. He looked so messy. Um, how do you say? Well, él debió haberse vestido elegante. How will you say that one? He should have. He should have. He should have. Yep. He should have dressed up. No, he could have dressed near. Okay, he could have is another possibility, yes. He could have dressed uh, neatly. Uh, yeah, he, he, could, he have could have dressed, dressed neatly. neatly. Or yeah. he should have dressed neatly. Se pudo haber vestido bien? Debería haberse vestido bien. So the two options he are good. Have. Okay. Is, and is. then in letter B, you said, Ah, yo le hubiera podido, yo le hubiera pedido que se pusiera algo mejor, algo más atractivo. Yo I, le hubiera pedido. I would have asked. I would have asked. I would have asked. I would have asked. Yep. I would have asked him to wear something nicer. Very would good. Have, yeah. I would have. Would have asked. asked. Would have asked. Uh -huh. Would have. Would have. Would have asked. Okay. What about number two? Volunteer to read number two, please. I'm going to read it. John, Go ahead, John borrowed my car and, the, and, and, dented, and, dented, it. and, and dented it. Dented it. Uh -huh. yeah. When he returned it, he didn't even say anything about it. We should, we should, sorry, we should have told you. He, no, he, he, should, should, have, sorry, he, he should, should have told you. Told you. Okay. Now, should have we, told. Okay, so he should have told you. But you can also say he could have told you. Te pudo haber dicho. So in a real life situation, the two uh, forms are good. He should have told you, or he could have told you, right? What about she must yeah. have told you? She could have. He told must you. have told you. Debió haberte dicho. So yes. yes. She could have told. What is the meaning of the dented? Dented. 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 Okay, who remembers the meaning of the word dented? It is like a little hit. Uh, yeah, huh? Crash? A Crash? Hit. Yeah, it's a little it's hit. It's, it's a, 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 hit. a small damage in your car. In yeah. El Salvador, we say un camanance. Un camanance, <laughs> un, un besito. Yeah. Con Robin sale. Exactly. <laughs> Con Robin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we fix it with a twenty dollar bill. How do you say come on in English? Uh dimples. Dimples, yeah. yeah dimples, yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh letter B says, Well, yo no le habría prestado no se le habría prestado, se le habría prestado a él en el primer lugar. He said, I wouldn't have yes, I, I wouldn't, would have. I wouldn't would have lent yes. very good. I wouldn't yeah, have lent it to him. Mm -hmm. If you put it that, it's not all right. Okay, we're, we're gonna be checking uh, the, the the exercises. Okay, maybe uh, you have exactly the same answer. Maybe you are putting a period where you're not supposed to, or maybe you're missing a period. So we will check on that. Number three Listen. says another volunteer to read number three. Uh, you you have to put a period. A period? No, no, no uh, it's only a no. possibility. In some no. cases, you need to include a period. In other, cases, in other cases, you don't need it. So it's just a, a possibility. Yeah. Okay. Volunteer for number three, please. I will do it, sir. Go ahead. I'm exhausted. Mary came over and stayed until 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. She shouldn't what? have stayed she so late. Shouldn't. Yep. She shouldn't have stayed so late. Okay, then you Opinion. go to letter B. You, you should start you should have you could have you should have started Johnny. Oh. Maybe she would have gotten the hint. Exactly. So hint. you should have started yawning. Maybe she would have gotten the hint. Exactly. You shouldn't. What is shouldn't. the meaning yawning? Yawning. Oh. It's when, yeah. you, when you're tired, yeah. Yeah, the, the sounds that your classmates are making, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> they said, oh, it's 9.25. And... <laughs> I'm so tired. So uh, what is the word in Spanish, Jonin? Uh, Bostezar. 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 Yeah. yeah. So you should have started yawning. Maybe she would have gotten the hint. Okay. Uh, are we okay with number three? No. I put shouldn't start. It's, it's, it's not correctly. Okay. Fine. No. You should have. Yeah. I shouldn't. It started. No, no but it's not it should start. Possible. It's perfect. No. Possibility is it's okay. Should exactly. have started. started. Yeah, you should, you should have, have started started with ED. Started. You should have started. You should have started. With, with ED. Yeah. Yes, with ED. ED started. Right. It's past participle. It's past exactly. Yeah, I put it. It's, it's, it's not right. I'm, 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 okay. I'm, no, so, it's okay. So, the, uh, uh, why, what happened to me? Okay, and let's I'm do waiting. number four. Uh, another volunteer to read okay. number four. Ended up. Me, teacher? Yes, go ahead, please. Okay. Tom invited me to apply, but I ended up paying for us both. I wouldn't have paid for him. Okay, right. It's the other person. Uh, Yo no lo habría yes. I wouldn't have paid for him. <laughs> right? Yeah. And what is the answer for letter B? He not invite you if he was short of money. He shouldn't, he shouldn't have, have invited, invited you. Exactly. Shouldn't, have shouldn't have invited you. Exactly. If he was short of money. Yes. He shouldn't have invited you if he was short of money. Exactly. All right. Uh, any questions? Yeah, but I, I, I put that one in there. I'm not, not, I'm not correctly. Okay, send me uh, send me a screenshot, um, Eduardo, yeah, I and I so I can double check. Okay, Is without period, probably. Yeah, I, I haven't put I haven't put any period. Okay. Uh, so uh, sometimes it's just yeah. one letter or one punctuation yes. mark that is making the difference. Yeah, I'm going yes. to, I want to take a picture. I want to send it. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. All right, so any questions so far about past models? No, okay, teacher. Okay, so let's mm -hmm. talk about something that many people like. Uh -huh -huh. Let's see here. Where? Give me a second. This one here. Can you see my document? Give me a second. No. no. The, is the same in the platform. Okay. All right. Triple seven. We are still watching the platform. Okay, give me a second. Okay, can you see a Word document? Uh, yes, yes. yes. What's the topic? Food. 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 Okay, what is your opinion about food? Delicious. <laughs> okay. Some food is delicious. Yes, it's. Yep. Okay, let me see this here. Can you put in the uh, chat, please? Yes, I will send it to the chat in this moment. So let me assign you to working pairs, breakout rooms. Uh huh. -huh. Create rooms, add a room, and here we go. Give your opinions about food. 
Are you on a diet? Can you eat anything? Is your stomach four by four? Uh, there you are. Okay, um, how often do you think about food? Uh, three mm. times a day. <laughs> <laughs> or, or more. <laughs> yes. Yeah, at, the, yes. at the middle of the, of the afternoon. <laughs> yes. Yes, you're right. You're right. Yeah. And, no, I, I, love, I love to eat food. I love. Yeah, me too, I have a yeah. problem. <laughs> With that. No, but, but with your your shape, your <laughs> your weight. Yes. No, I I try I try not eat a lot. Yes. And when when I mm, I feel my my belt is um, I don't remember apretando me my my my, my belt of yeah. my pant. Uh -huh. Pressure. I try pressure pressuring. Yes, yes, teacher. I try, sure. don't eat a lot. <laughs> this is my, my um, I, I try to be uh, in slender. Okay. Because I, 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 I like to have options and, and, and I, I, let me think. I, I want to prepare everything uh, for have a good meal. So I try to to have uh, to to discuss what are we going to to cook what are we going to have for the next uh, ne next day or whatever so, uh, i think i i i, I always uh, i'm always thinking in food <laughs> uh, well in my case i i don't usually think too much about food i think i usually think in food uh, three times in a day in breakfast, lunch, and dinner. After that, I think maybe sometimes uh, when I'm a little bit hungry, uh, I think most, but normally just three times, I think. Okay, okay. You don't eat between meals? Uh, sometimes, but not too much. What about you, Carlos? Do you eat between uh, meals? I, I try to don't do that because, you know, it, it's so easy to gain uh, some weight, so, but lose it is, is really hard. <laughs> I, I am not very good to, to do exercises, so I need to care what I, what I have, what I, what I eat. Right, right. Yeah. So the, it's good that you're conscious, you know, like, yeah, getting weight is so easy, but losing it is a whole different story. It's a different story, exactly. So, okay. Especially when you don't have a, a, a many physical activities in your right. day. Right, right. It's worse. I try to walk. I try to, uh, in, 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 the, in the past, uh, the last year, for example, I, I used to go to a swimming pool. Uh -huh. Every day, one hour, one hour and a half. But with the pandemic, uh, you stopped. I, can, I stopped and I can go. Okay. So. All right. Good. The the flavor. Can you okay. change your your mind? Okay. And what about you? Do you have to watch what you eat? Yeah, I need to watch the food that I eat. 
<laughs> it's essential for me. <laughs> okay, but you do it not for medical reasons. No, not for medical reasons, but I I need to see to 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 watch the the food because I when I when I look the dish, I can uh, decide if I like the food or not. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's good when the person watches what they eat, you know, whether because it's medical or just because that's your belief, you know, it's uh, it's good. Yes. Okay. But some... Like, you cannot eat that because they, um, well, you don't like them, right? But yeah, you can eat uh, almost. Everything. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. Are, you? Are, like, I do have a problem with food that has like a lot, a lot of um, como grasa, like fat. Uh, how fat. do? Fat. 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 Yep. Ah. Okay, fat. so with food that has a lot of fat. Oh, okay. But uh, besides that, I can eat almost anything. Yeah. I don't like the sweet food. The what? Sweet food. I don't like sweet bread or candies. Oh, yeah. I don't like it. You don't like candies? No. I get the part. <laughs> I don't know. No. <laughs> they taste good. I I, I prefer spicy food. The spicy food is delicious. Yes, very I delicious. I hate it. <laughs> oh my I god. Love spicy food. So you, you you like uh, Mexican food then? Oh yes, Mexican food. I they love are. Mexican food. Yeah, delicious. <laughs> Tacos really and all of that. Burritos, quesadillas. Burritos, tortas, yes. Yep. Yes, they, they, they uh, like to use a lot of different like ingredients in their food, right? Yeah. Yeah, they give that special taste to the food. Everything they make is good. Yes, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Mexican food yeah. is my favorite. Yeah, I really? love it. But yeah. which one, for the Mexican food, food which is the one that you love the most? Um, for me, taquitos. I Taco. prefer burritos. Really? Yeah. In my case, I am not a fan of Mexican food, but the one that I like, the only one that I like, it's tacos as well. Okay. Oh, yeah. I love tacos. Yeah, tacos are good. Tacos are good, but I prefer burritos. Yeah, burritos. A four by four burrito. <laughs> yeah. And tortas? How do you say tortas? Tortas, tortas. Yeah, tortas are tortas. good. Tortas are good. Like pupusas. Yeah, yeah, pupusas. Oh, that's another uh, another one of my favorites. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Hello, sir. Hi. Did you guys finish uh, discussing the questions? Yeah. Yes, we are really good. Okay, good. So, so what is your opinion about food, Guillermo? Well, um, of course, the food is very important because depending on what we eat, uh, that is the... I mean, uh, as much healthy food we eat, as much healthy health person we will be. So it's right. very important, not just the fact of enjoying uh, eating everything. No, we have to watch at a certain point what we are eating. Right. Because right. even though some, some food is delicious, not all the food is healthy for us. Exactly, exactly. There, there is a big difference between eating delicious food and healthy food, you know. Right, that is correct. Uh, yeah, and the sad part is that many times what we find delicious 
it's really bad for your health. It's really bad for your health. Yeah, that is correct. It also depends about, for example, uh, the activities that we uh, may make during the day, uh, the kind of job we have. For example, American people used to eat a lot of junk and fast food because they don't have time to, to, to prepare a healthy food. Yeah, they live a, a fast life, you know. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. in El Salvador, uh, maybe we don't have a fast life, but the economy does not help much for us to eat healthy, you know. So, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, hey, Miss Mister. Yeah. I have the same question, <laughs> the same problem in the homework of 3.7. I'm putting the, 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 the question that you, that you say they're right, and in, in, I'm still wrong. Okay. So take a picture and send it to my, send it to my number. Okay. Yeah, we already did it. Okay. Good. Very good. It's strange. I'm going to send it again. Yeah. Go ahead. It's a little bit, uh, it's like a little bit like, like the Without end of energy. the day. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, Something that makes like that. sense. And I and I I do that to don't eat all day mm -hmm. when I have to do some medical tests or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so but it is is it's not something that I, that I really like to do. Yeah, sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, the the Fifth, it goes like this. Number five. Yes. Do you have to watch what you eat? Uh huh. Do you have to watch what you eat? You go first because I, uh, I don't understand the question. Yeah, it like if, if if go ahead. Okay, go ahead, go ahead teacher. Please. No, you you, no, you no, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> I I I think when when they say, uh, oh, what you can eat? you go? Do, do you have to watch what you eat? It's because you eat all the time and anything, something like that. So you are like eating, 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 and you need to, mm. to put distance to the food because you eat everything. Right. Yeah, especially ah, okay, if, you yes, have, yes. if you have medical problems and the doctor has told mm -hmm. you like, don't eat hot peppers, don't eat churros, mm -hmm. don't do that. <laughs> so you need to watch what you eat. Yes, okay, thank you. All right. No, I can uh, I think uh it is uh for Mediter Mediterranean food. Which, which question are you discussing? The type of uh the last one. What kind, what kind of, of international, international cuisine, cuisine do, you do you like? Okay. Um, In my case, I think Mediterranean. Mediterranean? Food, Mediterranean. Mediterranean food is, it's, uh, but I like so much. Okay. Really? What kind of food is, is, is that? Good question. I have never eaten Mediterranean food either. It, for me, it sounds like uh, seafood, but I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Okay, no. Mediterranean food is more for olive oil, uh, some uh, uh, pasta also. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, maybe fish. Add the oil, at the olive oil, uh -huh. something like that. Okay, it sounds healthy. Yeah, it's it, in my opinion, it's healthy. It's um, also some avocados. Avocados. Could be. Uh -huh. See some avocados, some uh, peppers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Noe, what is your favorite? I like very, very very much a Chinese food. Chinese food. Chinese food, yes. It's with especially um, uh, the rice. <laughs> okay. The, you mean, the, what's the name? Um, 
Cantonese rice. Yes, Cantonese rice, yes. Okay. I like, and I like uh, Mexican food too. Yeah, Mexican food is my favorite. It's really yes. good. Tacos, burritos, tortas. <laughs> yeah, yes. You like so much. I love Mexican food. food. I love Mexican yes. food. Tortilla soup. Wow, it's delicious. <laughs> yeah, big burritos. I mean, they're they're really really good. Yes, it's it's very 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 nice. Tasty, exactly. Tasty, yes. <laughs> All right. Hi. Hi. We have to do. Uh, uh, Hello. Uh, okay, now we have All to do. All right. Uh, okay. Um, any questions or comments about the questionnaire? Do you agree when people say that we are what we eat? Yes, no. definitely. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes. yes, I agree on that. Yes. No. I agree. Yeah, in my case, I completely agree. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm overweight. And, you know, like now with this emergency, I don't do any physical activities. Uh, and, that's the problem. And you I eat weight. a lot. And I eat a mm -hmm. lot. Mm -hmm. a lot. That's a, a lot of pastries. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, when, when, when my wife, she goes to the bakery or she goes to La Tiendita near here, she always returns with things that I like, you know, like, ah. so I'm always munching something yeah, and, you know, yes, Eduardo. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Yes. No matter if you, what you eat, but if you do exercise, the, I, in the exercise, go. Exactly. Yeah. If go you, if that, you exercise. That bad thing that you eat. Yeah. 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 And that is the problem, you know, I eat. No, that's much a more than <laughs> what I'm supposed to, and I don't do any 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 physical activity, yeah. right? So that's, that's, a, problem. that's the problem. Uh -huh, this is the problem, <laughs> right? Yeah, and and yeah. I know people that they eat like uh, uh, like uh, they they have good appetite, but they're slim, they're thin, so it doesn't apply yeah. like a hundred percent of all times. Like yeah, you are exactly. what you eat. Or right. is the but, met, but metabol how do you say metabolism. in English metabolism? Yeah, metabolism. 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 Yep. Okay. Now, okay. um how often do you think about food? Because some people are literally uh thinking about food all the time. How often do you <laughs> think about food? All the time. Three times. <laughs> 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 I'm going to cook. 
cookies. Right. Yeah. Um. You know, they, they make fun of me here at the house because maybe we're finishing uh, breakfast and I'm asking, so what are we going to have for lunch? Or I'm <laughs> having lunch and I'm asking about dinner. So my goodness. Dinner. <laughs> I do that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Now, can you guys eat anything or do you have your limits about food that you never eat? I have, I for some yes, I have, I I have eat everything. Okay, so your stomach is four by four. Yeah. No, that, in, that, my that, case, no. in my no. case, no. Uh, I, I, only I think have that problem I don't with like... my stomach. Uh -huh. Go uh, ahead. The only, thing, the only thing that I don't like is the cold, the cold food, for example, a soup. Okay. I like to eat hot. Okay. I hate the loroco, for example. Oh my goodness! Yeah. You don't know what yes. you're yes. Wow, you you are not Salvadorian. Yeah, right? exactly. I'm proud. Of that. You don't like pupusa with loroco and no, cheese. Never, yeah, I, 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 I can barely even the smell, you know, or not. not wow. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I, it's the best. You don't know what you're yeah, missing, but... Carlos. Yes. <laughs> in my in my case, I don't like pacaya. Oh, I don't like pacaya. Uh, I don't like pacaya. Uh, probably yes, probably. Yes. It's so bitter. Or is the flower? I heard yeah. my, my yeah, parents it's not the that. Flower. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's not the flower. It's good. See, I don't like it's the flower. Uh, pacaya. Like <laughs> and, and, and fish soup. I love the fish. You know, I can eat a big fish, but I don't like the fish uh, soup. You know, it's soup. Just strange, okay. but I don't know why. Uh, now, uh -huh. I don't like um, some kind of animals, like, but I don't remember the iguana. The yeah. Iguana. iguana. Or, uh, oh, it's delicious. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wanna. It's, it's okay, you know. It's not my first option, but if you say taste it, I'll I'll drink it. I eat it. In other words, wow. they call uh, chicken three. Chicken yes. what? Chicken three. Gallina chicken. de arbol. Oh. Chi oh. Chicken okay. Three. Chicken three. Three three chicken. Oh, three chicken. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Who? Where three. do they call it like that? In Costa Rica. Really. Yep. Okay. Because what? what? Because that's, like, that? that's like gallina India. No, it's no, the, actually iguanas. It's different. Iguanas. You're talking about iguanas, right? Yes. Yeah. Gallina. Oh, have you have you tried cabro? Yeah. I have. Yeah, cabro meat. <laughs> yeah. Cabro is it's, good. Cabro is good. good. Cabrito it's is delicious. better. It's good. <laughs> yes. Right. Right. Have you tried rabbit? Deer? Deer? Yeah, yeah, rabbit. Rabbit is delicious. Rabbit is good. No, Deer is rabbit, I, rabbit, I don't like it. Yeah, rabbit yeah, is good. Deer is good. Peli, peli way meat. Peli way is good. It's peli way is good. Yes, it's good. Wow. Delicious. Okay. Now, what about what? the snake? Snake? No, I never had snake. <laughs> no, no, wow. I, I hate it. Don't. <laughs> yeah. I don't. <laughs> If you go near Mercado Central, there is a space where they sell all them kind of weird animals that sometimes people eat, mm. including snake. Yep. Wow. Yeah. No. Okay. They are like Chinese people that they eat everything. Yeah, the Chinese. Including, they, right. including bats. <laughs> yeah, dogs and, 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 and rats. Oh, and rats, all animals. dogs, cats. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Okay, uh, do you guys watch your diet? Do you guys watch what you eat? Yes, yes. I, I do. Sometimes. Yes, I do. But... Okay. Yeah, we should. We should, but yes, it's, it's hard to be obedient, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and what is your opinion about canned food? Uh, not, not healthy. healthy. Yeah. Not healthy. Yeah, it's not healthy. I think it depends because if, if for, for example, you have tuna, which is canned and it is healthy, I think. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yes, but you have, the kind of food. You have to wash the tuna to um, to quit the the kind of um, I don't know the, the liquid that it it comes with the. Okay. Oh, yeah. You need to, yeah. you need to know if it's oil or it's just water. 
or vinegar or whatever. Yes, yeah. yes, but it's better to, to wash it. Okay, yeah, it must be healthier if you wash it. Yeah. Okay. You're right. What about frozen food? You think frozen food is good? Yes. Why not? Okay. And processed meat? No. 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 That are bad for health. Okay. Maybe a couple of times in the week. Right, right. But you know the problem with processed meat that the taste is really good. It's really delicious. Exactly. But yes. bad for your health. All right. Um, any questions or comments about today's class? Uh, teacher, I'm sorry. How do yeah. you say? How do you say merienda? Uh, snacks. Ah, yes, snacks. Yeah, snacks. Snacks. Yep. How do you say boquitas? Snacks. You, you could say snacks, but the real name is appetizers. 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 Yeah. Appetizers. Yep. Teacher. Yes, sir. What What is the What about brunch? Brunch. It's a, some brunch. It's a type of uh, uh, a food between breakfast, I think, and lunch. It's an invented word. What is the difference? Hmm. Well, uh, a snack, a snack can be a sandwich, a fruit, uh, something that is not your official meal, you know. So it can be between foods. Uh-huh, uh -huh. Between foods. That would be the name for it, between foods. Between foods. Yeah. So between breakfast, lunch, or lunch and dinner. Or between okay. dinner and breakfast, if you wake up in the middle of the night looking for food in your fridge. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. So thank you very much for being here on a Friday. Uh we will continue Monday, same place, same time. You guys have hey, a Mr. 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 Yeah, that's a question. Yes. Uh, to to the it's a it's a like three dot seven. I put it and they haven't corrected. Okay. Um, I, so send I, me the I, images. Yeah, I, I already sent it. I, I send the right. answers. Okay. Yeah. And, oh. And All right. You tell me on, on Monday what, what we can do. Okay, good. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good night. Thank answers. you very much. Bye. Thank you. Okay, bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye bye. Bye bye. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye. 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 B